There are discoveries that shake astronomy, discoveries that confuse astronomers, and then there are the discoveries that crack open the very floor beneath physics itself. The kind of discoveries that force Nobel Prize winners to go quiet in interviews, that make cosmologists close their laptops and whisper, this doesn't make sense, that make even the most confident defenders of the Big Bang stop mid-sentence because the data they are seeing simply should not exist. And the James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered exactly that kind of discovery. Something so profoundly contradictory, so violently incompatible with our current theories of galaxy formation, cosmic evolution, and the origin of matter itself, that scientists are being forced to admit, reluctantly, nervously, and in some cases publicly, that something is fundamentally wrong with the way we understand the early universe. Webb looked deeper than any instrument in human history, it looked beyond the cosmic dark ages into a region where the first flickers of starlight were supposed to appear. And instead of finding faint primitive baby galaxies slowly forming out of hydrogen clouds, Webb found monsters, hyper bright, perfectly structured, impossibly massive objects that should not exist for another billion years. Objects that are not behaving like galaxies, not forming like galaxies, not evolving like galaxies. Objects that may not be galaxies at all. And as these images came in, one after another, each one breaking a different piece of the cosmological model, one realization began spreading across the scientific community like a quiet shockwave. James Webb didn't just reveal new objects, it shattered physics. It all started with a single object, a small yellow blob hidden in one of Webb's deep field images, barely noticeable among thousands of faint specks. There was no reason to think it was anything special, Nothing about it that screamed cosmic anomaly, except for one detail that refused to be ignored. It was too bright. Not just slightly unusual bright. It was bright in a way that violated every luminosity model we have for the early universe. Astronomers initially assumed it was closer, a trick of distance, the kind of misjudgment that happens all the time in deep cosmology. But spectroscopy ruined that assumption instantly. The redshift was enormous. The distance was real, and suddenly, they were staring at the most distant galaxy ever observed, existing when the universe was only 290 million years old. But it didn't look like a baby galaxy. It didn't look primitive or small or chaotic. It looked structured, massive, fully formed, a veteran in an era where only newborns should exist. And this is the moment when panic began to spread quietly behind the scenes. Because if even one fully formed galaxy existed at that time, then everything we know about early universe physics is wrong. And within days, Webb revealed that it wasn't alone, not a fluke, not a one-off, but the first in a flood of objects that defy every rule in our cosmic playbook. Deep fields from James Webb are supposed to be windows into cosmic infancy, quiet, faint, scattered points of light representing the earliest baby steps of structure formation. But when Webb turned its infrared eyes toward one of the darkest corners of the cosmos, what it saw was not infancy. It was maturity, activity, complexity. Webb found thousands of strange objects in these deep fields, and the more astronomers examined them, the more they realized they weren't looking at early galaxies at all. These objects are too bright, too compact, too massive, too organized. They do not match any known form of protogalaxy from standard cosmology. And the worst part? They appear everywhere in the early universe. Not one anomaly, not two, but an entire population of cosmic structures that simply should not exist at that time. A recent study found 87 potential galaxies formed between 200 and 400 million years after the Big Bang, a number so absurdly high that it directly contradicts the Lambda CDM model, the foundation of modern cosmology. One of the study's authors admitted openly, even if only a few of these are real, we must rethink galaxy formation entirely. And this is the unbearable truth. Webb is not revealing a slow-growing universe. It is revealing a universe that appears to have skipped the opening chapters entirely. A universe that looks too old at the edges. A universe that matured too fast. A universe that is behaving as if the Big Bang timeline is either incomplete or wrong. As if bright, massive early objects weren't enough, Webb discovered something far more disturbing, something that violates basic physics. In every known galaxy today, 
only about 10% of the gas ever turns into stars. That limit is so stable, so universal, so deeply baked into astrophysics that it's considered a cosmic rule. But Webb has now identified three early objects where 100% of the gas has turned into stars. Every atom, every molecule, every particle, converted. This is impossible under current physics. A galaxy cannot burn all its material instantly. It needs time to cool, collapse, fragment. It needs cycles of starburst and quenching. But Webb's objects behave like they were assembled by an entirely different process, a process that does not appear anywhere in modern astrophysics. These objects are not behaving like galaxies. They are behaving like something else entirely, something we don't even have terminology for. Some scientists now quietly suggest that these might not be galaxies at all, but an unknown category of cosmic object that predates every model we've developed. And that possibility is scarier than any anomaly so far, because it means we aren't just missing details. We may be missing an entire chapter of cosmic evolution. For almost a century, we have believed that distant galaxies recede from us because the universe is expanding. And we know that the farther away an object is, the faster it moves, some even faster than the speed of light. According to relativity, these galaxies should be invisible because their light should never reach us. But Webb sees them. It sees galaxies located beyond the so-called Hubble sphere, galaxies receding faster than light, galaxies that should be forever hidden behind a cosmic horizon, and yet their photons arrive. The standard explanation is that the Hubble sphere itself expands over time, pulling new galaxies into visibility. But Webb's new deep field discoveries stretch that explanation to breaking point. We are seeing objects that, according to our equations, should have permanently outrun their own light. And if that's true, then something about our understanding of cosmic expansion is fundamentally flawed. Either relativity is incomplete, or the geometry of space is more complex than we imagined, or the early universe behaved in a way no existing theory predicts. Webb has exposed the greatest paradox in observational cosmology. We are seeing things we should never be able to see. The observable universe spans about 92 billion light years, but this number is not a real boundary. It's a limit of visibility. And Webb is showing us objects so mature at the edges of that observable bubble that their existence implies something terrifying. The universe must have been structured long before the cosmic microwave background was released. The Big Bang model argues that the universe began in a hot, dense state 13.8 billion years ago. But if the earliest galaxies look too old, too massive, too evolved at 200 to 300 million years, then the early universe was not a blank slate waiting to form structure. It was already structured. Some Nobel Prize winning physicists are now entertaining a radical possibility. The universe may not have had a beginning at all. That the Big Bang was not the start of everything, but a transition, a phase change, a reconfiguration of a universe that already existed. Webb may not just be showing us early galaxies. It may be showing us the fossilized traces of a cosmic era that preceded the Big Bang, a universe older than we can comprehend. And if that is true, then our entire cosmological history must be rewritten from scratch. The standard cosmological model depends on a singularity, a single point where everything began. But Webb's discoveries undermine the timeline so violently that the singularity itself becomes questionable. If galaxies formed everywhere at once, if structures appear too early, if matter seems distributed in ways that contradict the causal limits of the early universe, then the idea of a single birth point collapses, and the only remaining explanation is deeply unsettling. If the universe is infinite today, it was always infinite. That means the Big Bang did not happen in one place. It happened everywhere, simultaneously, across an already infinite cosmic expanse. And if the universe always existed in some form, then what Webb is showing us are not early galaxies. They are the remnants of processes that began long before the Big Bang became visible to us. This is not an adjustment to the model. This is the death of the model. Webb's most disturbing revelation is that scientists have no idea what these objects actually are. They are not behaving like galaxies. They are not structured like quasars. They are not consistent with protostars, clusters, or nebulae. They are compact, hyperluminous, star-dense structures burning with impossible efficiency. 
and according to spectroscopy, some of them have converted 100% of their gas into stars, something no galaxy in the known universe does. These objects are not following any known rules of formation. They are not fitting into any known timeline. They are not responding to physics as we currently describe it. They may represent an entirely unknown category of cosmic structure, something from a period of cosmic history we did not know existed. And that means we are not just confronting anomalies, we are confronting a cosmic identity crisis. After decades of confidence in our cosmological models, James Webb has delivered a discovery so catastrophic that it forces us to confront a possibility no one wanted to consider. The Big Bang model cannot explain the universe we see, not the timing, not the mass, not the brightness, not the star formation, not the distribution, not the expansion, not the structure, nothing fits. If these objects are galaxies, then the Big Bang model is fundamentally flawed. If they are not galaxies, then we have discovered an entirely new class of cosmic object, one that appears right at the supposed beginning of time. In both cases, physics loses, and that is why scientists are panicking. Because when a telescope shows you something that should not exist, you are left with only two options, change the data or change the universe. And the data is not changing. James Webb has forced physics to shatter, and now we must rebuild. When you take everything James Webb has revealed, the impossible brightness, the impossible mass, the impossible distances, the impossible timelines, the impossible star formation rates, the impossible expansion paradox, the impossible structure of the early universe, and you lay every contradiction side by side, something begins to happen. The pattern that emerges is not subtle. It's not ambiguous. It's not something you can smooth over with clever equations or patch with another placeholder theory. It is a pattern that screams, not whispers, that the story we've been telling about the universe for nearly a century is fundamentally broken. Because the galaxies Webb is showing us aren't early. They aren't forming. They aren't primitive. They are fully structured beasts appearing at a time when the universe should barely be learning how to walk, yet it's already running marathons, building stellar populations at maximum efficiency, assembling compact objects faster than the laws of physics allow, and behaving like it has skipped hundreds of millions of years of cosmological evolution. And the worst part, the part that leaves cosmologists staring at their screens in silence, is that these objects are not rare exceptions. They are everywhere. They are scattered across Webb's deep fields like cosmic landmines, each one detonating another piece of the Big Bang timeline, even if only a handful of them are real, the standard model collapses. But Webb shows dozens, dozens that should not exist, dozens that break formation physics, dozens that contradict causality itself. And suddenly you begin to understand why astrophysicists are panicking quietly behind the curtain, because the universe Webb is showing us doesn't start small and innocent and slow. It begins fully awake, fully active, fully structured. The early universe looks too old too mature, too organized. And that forces a terrifying question. What if the universe didn't begin the way we think it did? What if the Big Bang wasn't a beginning, but a transition? What if the observable universe is just the surface layer of something much older, much deeper, much stranger than our equations were designed to handle? Because when galaxies appear too early, too bright, too massive, too evolved, the problem isn't the galaxies. The problem is the model. And that's the realization James Webb has just delivered with devastating precision. We weren't wrong about the objects. We were wrong about the universe. The timeline is wrong. The formation physics are wrong. The expansion assumptions are wrong. The boundary of the observable universe is not the beginning of anything. It's just the edge of what light can show us. And outside that boundary, the universe may stretch infinitely backward, not just infinitely outward. A universe with no true beginning, no singular point, no origin story. A universe that has always existed in one form or another. And Webb, with its golden eye staring into the darkness, may have just given us the first evidence of that eternal cosmos. So if this video shook the way you see the universe, don't leave quietly. Subscribe, because the discoveries coming next will be even more brutal. Like this video so more people can understand why physics is trembling. And tell me in the comments, do you think the universe had a beginning? Or is Webb showing us something far older than the Big Bang?